guys, my name is Alexis and welcome to my channel. I know I look a little crazy today, please forgive me. I think I'm on day number six now, so my hair is getting a little, you know, crazy and definitely needs a wash day soon. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to extend your wash day by doing another hairstyle. I'm going to show you guys how to do a really easy top knot bun. Let's jump right into it. First thing you're gonna wanna do is spray down the perimeter of your hair so that you get all of your hair to lay really nicely. And personally, I like to do warm water because my hair is low porosity and it takes a minute for that water to get in my hair. But yeah, just another little tip. I'm just gonna try to rub that in a little bit so that it really gets all of my roots. So now I'm just gonna take some leave-in and put it on the perimeter of my hair also so that I can make sure that my hair is moisturized when I slick it back. I don't have time to be ripping my hair out. BTW, this is my favorite leave-in. It's by Natty Naturals. It's the most amazing leave-in that you could ever buy. And if you're interested in it, there's a link in my description box. And I like to put extra leave-in in the back because that's where my hair tends to get knotted the most. Okay, now that we've got our whole perimeter sprayed and leave-in put in, we're going to start slicking your hair back. Personally, I like to use two brushes for this hairstyle. One to pull back all your hair, and the other to really slick it down and give it a really nice finish. When you get to the back, you're gonna want to try to slick it upwards like this and try to get all of those bumps out. And then I'm just gonna start pulling my hair up where I want this bun. And as you can see, my hair is mad thick, so this is a little workout. And just start brushing it where you want your bun. you see how there's kind of like, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little bump where my hair is still curled and not slicked. So we're just gonna keep going over that until it lays all the way flat. So now what I like to do is I like to take a hair tie and I like to put it up kind of loosely so that I can start slicking it back and make sure that it's all really nice and smooth before I actually 100% style it. We're gonna leave this here like so, and I'm gonna start putting this Eco Styler Gel on my hair as well to make sure that it's really smooth and slick and sleek and snatched. And I'm not gonna use a ton of this, I'm just gonna use a little bit. And I'm gonna just start putting it on my hair like this, really smoothing it into my hair. I don't want any flyaways. See how much smoother that looks already? And now we're just gonna take this brush and really smooth it down. And for me, I really like to smooth my edges upwards right here. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. All right. Now we can get this out of the way. So the next step is to put it in the top knot. Okay, so now it's time to put it up in this pony. And my hair is super thick, so this is always kind of interesting when I do it. And how I like to do it is I just wrap it around one time and then I'm just gonna push my hair forward and then pull it through here. It already looks cute. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So now I'm just going to start 
pinning some of my hair down in places where I don't like how it's sitting and I'm going to use some extra hair ties to also make it more narrow. See how that just made that snatched? And honestly, I don't think that I should try to put another hairband in. I think from here on out, I am just going to be putting some bobby pins. So let's do that. And I'm not 100% sure if you guys saw how I did that, but I basically just wrapped around a giant hair tie around the bottom, the base of where my bun is, so that it just cinches it all together and makes it more narrow, AKA top knotted. And from here on out, I'm just gonna be using some bobby pins to pin some pieces where, you know, they're not cooperating. So now I'm just gonna do some finishing up touches and I'm going to need my edge brush for that. Oh my God, this is very dirty, holy cannoli. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this edge brush and I don't know if you can see right here, but there's like a little bump that I just need smoothed out. And this is great just to really push it into your bun and it has this little comb side, so I'm just Pushing that all down to make sure everything is very smooth. Now it is time to lay your baby hairs and make sure to get all those flyaways. So let's do that. Okay, so now that my edges are laid, I'm just going to take my scarf and I'm just going to secure my edges. This will definitely make your hairstyle last longer and make your edges last all day. So I'm just gonna wrap it around my head like that to make sure I get the stuff in the back too. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot in the front right here, nice and tight. And I'm gonna leave this on for probably 10 minutes or so, and I'll come back to show you guys the final look. Okay, so this is the final look. It is all slick and nice and cute and top naughty. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I hope this is really helpful to anybody with really thick hair like me or anybody trying to get that cute top knot. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to join the fam. Peace, love, and hair grease. See you in the next one.